Hello and welcome to this edition of Introduction to Store Fusion by QLogic. My name is Todd Owens and I'm a member of the OEM technical marketing team here at QLogic and I want to walk you through two of the new features that are part of what we call Store Fusion technology. Those features are FC Ping and FC Trace Route. First, what is Store Fusion? Well, it's a co-developed set of functions uh, from QLogic and Brocade that make a Gen 5 fiber channel SAN smarter and easier to manage than ever before. As of today, there are 10 specific features that make up Store Fusion technology, and all 10 are implemented in enhanced Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters from QLogic and Gen 5 16 gig infrastructure from Brocade. If you want your SAN to be smarter, faster, and easier to manage, then you need to upgrade to enhanced Gen 5 fiber channel today. In today's session, we're going to focus on two of the diagnostic elements. Listed here are the 10 specific technology enhancements implemented with the QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel Adapters and the Brocade Gen 5 Fiber Channel Infrastructure. We're going to focus this session on two of these features, FC Ping and FC Traceroute. Note that while these two features are part of the overall Store Fusion feature set for Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel, they happen to also be supported with QLogic 8 gig fiber channel adapters uh, when connected to Brocade Gen 5 fiber channel fabrics. Let's start by looking at the customer problem. The SAN administrator gets a call that an application doesn't seem to be running like normal, and of course he's getting the blame. It couldn't be the server, and it couldn't be the application. It's always a storage. Well, where does he start to verify if there's a problem or not? What if there were a simple and fast way to verify the connectivity between a physical host and a storage device? That's what FC Ping and FC Traceroute do. FC Ping uses the SCSI inquiry command across the SAN fabric to verify connectivity between a user specified port and a storage target port. And FC Traceroute provides a visual display of the path of that connection. And all this is done using QLogic's QConverge console management utility. Let's take a look at what's involved. First, the system administrator starts by launching the QConverge console utility and selecting the server that he wants to check. Once he's selected the server, he goes across the top and selects the tab marked topology and then clicks the little radio button so he gets a physical view of the topology of the entire SAN. That's a pretty cool feature of QConverge Console, which is a free utility for managing QLogic fiber channel adapters that you can download from QLogic.com. And once he's got the physical topology view, the next thing is to click on that little gear that's sitting next to the fiber channel adapter. This will allow him to see the FC trace route and FC ping box that pops up. From here, we can launch each of those different functions. Let's take a look at how we do this in real life. Okay, so here I am logged into my server and I'm gonna launch QConverge console. And I'm going to connect to my local host, my server. And here's that view uh, where I select my server. Once I select my server, I go across the tabs at the top, select topology. I get a logical view of the SAN environment and we switch to a physical view and I'll click on the little gear and now I get the FC trace route and FC ping functions that I can launch from here. Okay, so once we decide what we want to do, let's say we want to run FC ping. So for a click on the FC ping and what happens is a box pops up and provides me with adapter selection. Now this particular adapter is a dual port adapter so I can pick either of the ports. Then I click the next button. Then a new window pops up and this is where I pick the storage device that I want to do the FC ping to. In my case, in my SAN environment, I only have one disk array connected out there. So I only have one choice and then we hit the ping button. Let's go try this. So here we are on the server again. Uh, we'll select FC ping and here's our selection window. So I've got uh, two choices. Click the next button. And now I will ping. And lo and behold, I have successfully pinged the target. Now I know there's an electrical connection between the host server physical port and the disk ray storage port. I know that they've got the electrical connection, but what about the physical connection? Well, that's what FC Traceroute is for. 
we go back to the gear picture and we select FC trace route from there we'll get similar pop-up boxes one to select the adapter port and the other to select the storage device instead of a box marked ping this time we have a box marked trace for the trace route function when I execute the trace route function what should happen is there should be an icon that gets displayed and travels through the fabric to show me the physical connectivity between that target port that I selected on the adapter and the storage port on the array. So let's take a look at that. Grab our gear, do FC trace route. We'll take the default here and that storage, same storage device. This time we'll hit trace. When I hit trace, you'll notice the field changes here and we've got that little icon it's now making its way through the sand. So it goes from the adapter into the fiber channel switch here with an IP address that ends in dot 35. And you can see the multiple connections on this disk array. And you can see that the route actually goes to the fiber channel port with a worldwide name ending in 4E52. So now I know where the physical connection is as well. So in summary, FC ping and FC trace provide me a very simple way to verify connectivity between host fiber channel ports and storage target ports. These features are only supported by QLogic and Brocade and they work with either 8 gig or enhanced Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters from QLogic. We execute these commands using QLogic's Q Converge console management utility and that's available free of charge for download from QLogic.com and use the download link on the home page of that website. Well that's it for this edition of Store Fusion Introduction by QLogic. I want to thank you for your time and attention and I hope you have a great rest of your day.